what's up vlog so we are just getting back from denver uh we got back this morning about 11 got back to our apartment about 12 showered changed and then ran back to the store because we're open today so we honestly just took a quick break on our two off days and then we got it literally hit the ground running as soon as we got back so um another delivery i know you guys are like man you guys are getting so much stuff man but the thing is i put i put the order for this stuff in like a minute ago and now it's all just coming in at the same time Um, this right here is an oil tank. Um, I'm gonna let you guys see it in a second. Um, I gotta bust it open, and uh, we're gonna see what it's like. So, but the oil tank is actually a. Um, I think it's a. Uh, I forgot how many gallons it was, but it's. Uh, I think it's like 40 or 50 something gallon tank. It's definitely four or five x the size of what we have now. The tank that we have now, we're going to use that for liquid soap, and the tank that we have right here is going to be for our bar soap. So I'm going to let you guys see it once I open it up. <clears throat> this is what's in it. Big ass tank. And um, everything in here. You know what's so crazy? Is that they give you this. If you sign off and find damage later, it says you are too late. We cannot make a claim later. You must make note of the damage with the driver at the time of delivery for signing for the shipment. That's kind of crazy to me because a lot of times stuff is so big like the delivery guy look he just left he just left so like he drops it off you know what i'm saying i get i gotta go through the package and then if i go through it and i find something is broke from from the delivery like what are you supposed to do you know what i'm saying so there's nothing you really can do you just gotta hope that everything is good but most of the time everything is going to be good they got everything in here packaged pretty well the only way to do it this the, the only way tank People gonna watch this and be like, oh no, you shouldn't be doing it like that. Come on, I it's gotta cold. Do what, I gotta do. <laughs> what you gonna roll it in? Oh. Come on, big strong man. Oh yeah. You're so strong. Alright now. You okay? It must be light though. <laughs> like not super heavy. That's the stand? Whoa. Yeah. Alrighty. We ain't playing. Okay. Whew. I know we just got back in town. My mom and wife are telling me to just rest up. Just rest. Don't put this together. But I had to put the stand together. So I put the stand together. It's pretty sturdy. But look how big the tank is. Like I'm gonna I'm back up so you can see how big the tank is. See that tank? To that tank. Boom boom actually let me put it up against it all right so what i did was i just opened up the scale so also we got a scale which will go right underneath the tank because the tank is so heavy that it's gonna be hard so what i was doing before is i would weigh out uh things in a bucket and our scale down here that i cover it with a plastic bag i weigh it out then i dump it in the tank but now with this tank will be on top of here which will be the scale so what i have to do is just tear the scale and just dump it in the tank so i will be weighing it as i'm putting it in the tank and uh this joint will be so cool can't wait to show you guys what it looks like when i set everything up so now can y'all see the difference can you see the difference between the tanks this right here this one is our 13 gallon joint and actually it's a video that we have when we got first got this joint this is the heater the heater Oh, this is the stuff that comes with it. This is, um, how many gallons was this again? This is 13? 13 gallons, 100 pounds of oil can go in here. 100 pounds of oil can go in here. So I don't know if you guys have seen our process before where we would do, um, we just had like stainless steel pots where we were putting like four stainless steel pots on the stove and melting it down. Now we can take all of our oils at one time and put them in there. This evenly melted so that there are no um, oils being scorched. 
it, it, if you feel inside too, it already feels like warm. Like, I don't know if this just has like a natural warmth to it. It's like along yeah. the sides. That's gonna be dope. It has like a natural warmth to it. As soon and as we got this one, I knew we needed a big one. <laughs> I should have got this one at first, but it's all good. It's called growth. Um, but this joint right here, huge, very big, like 45 gallon. You see the difference in the sizes though, right? The difference in the sizes. That one to this one. The joint is huge. So yeah, so like I said, we're now gonna make liquid soap in that tank. That's our live tank right there. Gonna make liquid soap in that one. This will be the new bar soap. The new bar soap tank. What? I'm amazed at how big it is, though. Good. Grace is going to be one of the biggest things in here. And we talking about, well, we brewing it. Uh, well, I feel like a brewmaster or something like that. But we soap masters. Call me soap brewmaster. Oh, yeah. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So now, let me give you guys the rundown on how we were producing out of the tank. So... With the small tank, which is that one, we were producing approximately 400 bars. It would take us like an hour, hour 15 minutes to produce those 400 bars, you know? And I'm talking about once the oil was already melted, everything's ready, it would take us that long. All I do is just put the oil straight into the tank, let it melt down. Now, what we predict now is that this will 4X to 5X our production, meaning at one given time in one session that we call it we like to call it a session which is in our one session for this one we would make approximately 400 bars one session for this we're probably making around 1600 to 2000 bars each time we make soap now so you see the difference now and man i'm so excited for that but um again we got this stuff a few weeks ago it's just all coming in now and I'm just able to show you guys and just document, man. But definitely check out SoapEquipment.com. This is where we get all of our equipment from. SoapEquipment.com. They are the people that you want to go to. They got everything that you need. They can get you squared away. Um, it's good stuff, good pricing. But it's an investment. They're assets, you know what I'm saying? This stuff will last you for a long time, you know? Right there, what I'm going to have to do now is, because we're still rearranging, I still got to hook up this sink. My dad got to come hook up the sink. I'm still trying to get stuff out here, which is, I gotta rearrange back here. I gotta take a lot of stuff out of here that doesn't need to be here. And then, these are what the baker's racks look like now. They're all lined up, which it looks so well. So it's looking like a full on kitchen back here. You know what I'm saying now? It's looking real well, looking real nice. Let's see what Taryn doing. Taryn, what you doing? Huh? I'm up here, you know, just waiting for people to come into the store. What time is it? Waiting patiently. 6.09. 6 6.09, we're pretty much about to be done for the day. Yeah, it's pretty much about Pretty much. Hold up in here. Some orders that need to go out today. And I gotta go out here and clean up. That's the worst. Terry, how do you, are you excited for your tank? And what, do you, what are your thoughts on the I'm tank? I'm excited and, for the tank and how everything is coming along. My only like kind of um reserve i think is what i'm looking to say is the fact that um that the store is kind of small <laughs> and it's like the tank is big so i mean that's why we're getting everything grow. out of here everything will grow that's why we're getting everything out you sound like terrence everything will grow. everything will grow so that's why we're trying to just get everything out of here we're doing a lot of rearranging but we're gonna have we're gonna have room we got we're gonna have room we're gonna have ways to maximize it Again, the thing that's going to take up the most space is going to be our soaps, and we have the racks to do it now. So we'll see you guys in the next video.